Miss Ivy Bowen. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I'm here going to you from my own house. Dining room. It is going to be great today. 80 degrees. I am so excited. A little different than our regular talk, coffee talk. As Jason's there, I'm here. Um, but we're excited to be here. I'm excited to be on talking to you guys and giving you a little update. Um, yesterday's bingo for one. It was so much fun. I loved it. It's our third bingo we've done. I appreciate everyone that's done it. We're going to try to do a different game next week. Um, we may, with um, me being at home right now, we may be um, playing bingo again. However, we'll decide that in a couple days. But um, bingo is a blast. Super easy. The cards are there. You just mark them. You can dab them, whatever you want. Virtually done. Jason's bingo voice. I think he's getting it perfected. So. Um, Tune into that. It's Thursdays. It may be a different game next week, but um, keep posted on MTL because I'll update you as we decide. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Jason for a second just to give a little club update. Um, friend and our facilities manager has been pretty busy, so um, he's going to update you on that real quick. Yeah, the club's been pretty, pretty awesome. So um, for those that don't know, the restaurant opened back up a couple weeks ago. Uh, and we had really good turnout first couple weeks. Um, last week we offered a restaurant week where Dino uh, provided a couple different um, family meals for everyone to be able to take home. And uh, we sold almost about 150 of those in four days. So uh, it was really busy with that uh, in addition to our limited menu. So um, really nice. Thank you all for the support. Um, staff and team really, really appreciate everyone coming out. It's great to see everyone in the parking lot. Um, we're, we're really excited that uh, everyone's been supporting us. Um, we also have uh, Mother's Day this weekend. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there. Um, we, we definitely appreciate uh, everyone's help and, and uh, everyone's support over the years. Um, this year, we are doing a a brunch and a pickup brunch. Um, and we started the advertising for that on Saturday. Uh, and unfortunately, but fortunately, we actually sold out on Wednesday night. Uh, we sold 150 orders of uh, Mother's Day brunch, which was pretty crazy. Um, That's crazy. But uh, uh, it was really awesome. We uh, typically only have about 120, 130 people come to uh, Mother's Day brunch. So to have 150 uh, during this uh, uh, unique time, uh, it was pretty special. So thank you all for that support. Um, seeing that and, and um, uh, seeing how quick that went, uh, we're working on providing another pickup brunch um, meal uh, maybe in the next couple weeks or so. Uh, obviously, it won't be Mother's Day themed, but uh, uh, we've noticed that there's not a lot of places to take out brunch and breakfast. So um, uh, we figured it was a good opportunity. And, and with the support we had this week for Mother's Day, we figured it, it might be something to do. So um, Chef Dino and Doug are putting together a menu um, and we'll hopefully be uh, showing that uh, here in the next couple of weeks um, for another morning pickup. So some fun, some different, uh, trying to mix it up. We, don't, we know everyone uh, eventually limited menu will become a little uh need a little change and a little little refresh so uh, we're going to continue to modify that um and uh enjoy it so a uh, lot of restaurant news uh that's been a couple of stuff the other thing for those that may have not have seen the washington state liquor control board has just recently approved uh to go cocktails so you're able to uh, purchase cocktails for consumption at home um, there are some rules and regulations that we need to follow. And so Christopher, our resident mixologist was so excited. Uh, he's putting together, um, a great, uh, little menu and then, um, also seeing if he can execute, uh, most cocktails, um, for to go process. So, um, look for that. Hopefully we're going to try and start sometime uh, late next week. Um, we should be able to get emails out to everyone, kind of showcasing what we're going to do, um, hopefully beginning of next week. Um, but uh, it'll be a great thing. Club's going to participate in that. We've already ordered 
uh, unique little um, containers because there are some regulations on containers. Um, Christopher's thinking about doing uh, uh, kind of uh, put the bar out in the parking lot. You can kind of pull in and he'll make you whatever cocktail you want. And so uh, kind of coming up with some unique things to, uh, to showcase for it. So um, look for more information on that. Uh, like I said, the team's working hard in, on uh, putting all that stuff together. So, um, and then, uh, you know, with the restaurant, it's just everyone else is, is helping out as much as we can. Um, uh, Brendan, our facility manager, uh, for the last two, three weeks has been pressure washing, uh, the whole club. Uh, he's done, uh, the parking lot, the sidewalks, uh, all the entryways, the pavers, the stamped concretes, the patios, uh, I think he's just got kind of the front entrance area left and the mantle patio, I think. So um, he's uh, he's been working hard getting all that done, rain or shine. <laughs> he's been out there getting that done um, and then uh, uh, made the, uh, some cleaning projects with the pool. Um, he's been lining up vendors to kind of deep clean the facility. We just had the carpets uh, redone uh, Monday or must have been Wednesday, I think. And then we also cleaned um, uh, the floors. And then we're looking at some new vendors for uh, sanitation practices, um, working really hard on creating some new new guidelines for base camp and how we're going to maintain the equipment on there, um, locker rooms, all the, all the different rooms. As uh, the governor's laid out clear guidelines um, in the phase four, four phase um, process for reopening. Um, obviously, timeline is is unknown at this point, but uh, uh, now that the, we know the, which phase is when can happen, uh, we're really putting together our plans to make sure that when our phase and time comes, we'll be we'll be ready to open. So um, exciting to see that! It's just been a lot of work trying to get all that done, and as you can imagine, every vendor that deals with anything along these lines is being tapped right now and and uh, going being pulled a diff- bunch of different ways. So. We're just trying to to get our foot in the door, get get our get in line, and and uh, hopefully make some long term um, adjustments with that. So, uh, but more to come as we continue to put that process together. Um, big thing for us is just following the guidelines from National Restaurant Association, WHO, uh, the CDC, um, uh, the Club Managers Association of America, um, all the big. Uh, leaders of the industry. Um, We're really leaning on them and their practices and their guidelines um, to help us, you know, create um, and uh, uh, follow their path towards a successful facility. So um, we uh, will continue to watch that and continue to follow them and and, uh, adjust our our facility to, uh, to meet those guidelines. So um, but it's good. We've been real busy and, and uh, great to see members out. I know some members did a vehicle tour the other day, vehicle parade the other day, which is really cool to see. I, I love seeing those type of things. Uh, Brittany's been really busy with putting together some really fun um, lifestyle events that you can take part in. I hope everyone's staying on top of that. Uh, I know it's a lot out there, but uh, uh, we'd love to see everyone, you know, everyone's face pop on the screen every once in a while and and uh and say hi so uh, if you got ideas and if you've got some cool things that you've seen people do or um or then things that you can be done in your home and things like that uh let us know shoot us an email and and uh we'll, we'll definitely vet that information so but yeah overall the the club's doing well the, the team's doing really well um everyone's in in good spirits and and uh uh, we're all, you know, just just uh, waiting until we get the go ahead. Sometimes, so um, but appreciate everyone's patience and and uh, um, through this process, it's it's definitely been tough and frustrating. And uh, we're all very social people, so I know it's been tough to stay at home. But uh, it's definitely the responsible thing to be doing right now. So, but uh, yeah, sweet. Thanks, Jason. Um, I'm really big about finding new things for everybody to try and kind of what I've been doing here um, at home. All my time is finding some cool new products that I like. I did want to share this with you. I think it's coffee talk. I'm not drinking coffee. So, but this is a sparkling water. I don't know if you can see it. It's a blood orange sparkling water with caffeine. 
It is so good. You have to try it. It's Talking Rain. You can find it at Safeway, Walmart, Fred Meyer. Amazon has it. You can have it Amazon to your doorstep. Um, it's really good and it has caffeine in it. So I'm going to try to go more this way, healthier than my sugar coffees. So I uh, just wanted to share that with you because I'm loving it right now. And then um, to get to our event, we have so many virtual events going on right now. Um, like for instance, Todd today at 11. So he has his, his two classes today. It's with him, 11, 12. Um, that's all live. The links are on MTL if you are looking for those, but he is doing them three days a week. So live three days a week, at least. Um, you know, you have Tabata Thursday, total body workouts. Um, today is two classes and tomorrow he has gentle fitness. So, um, up on those. He's awesome. I know he does it on Facebook too. So I know many of you are following him on Facebook, but i um, just reaching out to those who don't have Facebook. We also have our live streaming going on too. Um, 11 o'clock for all of those. So pretty easy to remember Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 11 o'clock. And he's also creating videos to post on our SO on demand page too. So when he's not doing, um, well, all of his live stream videos that he does, we post to our SSL on demand. And then Mondays and Tuesdays, he's just filming videos and we post those to SSL on demand. Um, it is in the weekly events. So if you just click on it, you can see any one of those videos. It'll take you directly to our SSL on demand channel. We have active learners again yesterday with um, Roger Tanquist. He talked to us about wildfire relief and all that him and his wife have done. It was pretty incredible actually because um, you know, we, I know what he's done that he's been doing as far as wildlife relief, but um, to see pictures and his testimony to it was pretty incredible. So thank you to Roger for sharing, but if anybody else has anything that they do or want to share, um, let me know because it's pretty easy process. So we just do a PowerPoint and put it up for those and active learners really appreciate it. So if you have an idea or have something that you want to share with, with the members, please get a hold of me and we'll get that going. Um, we have cooking demos every Wednesday. Um, Chef Dino next Wednesday noon. I don't have a menu yet, so I promise as soon as I get that menu from Dino, I will post that on MTL for you. Um, but it's every Wednesday at noon. And then bingo has been Thursdays at 3. Um, next week, we'll, I'll let you know in a couple days here what next week's game is going to be. Um, but hopefully it's Pictionary. It could be bingo. We'll see. Um, it's at 3 o'clock. It's always Thursday at 3. And then 10 a.m. with Jason and I um, for Coffee Talk. Um, that's all I have for events, but we do appreciate everyone tuning in and giving us your ideas. A couple of fun things in the works that we have going on right now. We do have our eight drop challenge that we are doing. Um, it is all of your little creations and sculptures that you're building at home are due Tuesday. Um, so Tuesday we will have a concierge at the front desk. If you could just give her a call, um, it will be Brittany. So Brittany will be there Tuesday to collect your um creations that you're building and then we'll go live dropping them off the roof on wednesday um weather well, depending it looks like rain so we'll see how that oh, goes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to push this because i don't know if we should be on the roof during <laughs> rain i don't know that's not safe so weather pending let's say that weather pending um we do need a, a nice day so that it is safe to get up on the roof where jason is going to be going so um but I will keep everyone posted on our post about the egg drop challenge. Um, so if we have any changes or any um, extended deadlines for those creations, I will put it up there, I promise. And then we have our trilogies talent show submissions. It's super easy. You can just take your phone, set it up and hit record. Stand on one foot for 10 minutes. That's, that's it. I can't do that. Stand on your head. You could jump on one foot. Um, no, but but really, if you are have a talent and you want to submit it for our Trilogy Fat Talent, um, please do. Just to my email, brittany.riddell at 7 summitslodge.com And we will get that going. It's, it'll be a lot of fun. It's in a couple weeks from now. So you still have plenty of time to um, either come up with the talent or really get your video going. But um, I'm excited to see all these videos coming in. We do have another fun idea in the works in a couple weeks from now. I'm going to let Jason talk about it. It was mainly his idea, um, but it does involve rubber, rubber duckies and a, and a creek. So, Jason, you want to talk to that a little bit? 
It wasn't necessarily my idea. I know a couple members have uh, brought this idea up over the years, and uh, we just never had the time and and the situation to kind of get it going. But um, what we're going to plan um, probably for the beginning of June when the weather gets here is we're going to provide anyone that wants to, um, we're going to provide rubber ducks. And the idea is you come pick up your rubber duck, and you'll be able to decorate it however you see fit, um, color it, uh, paint it, um, put it in a boat, whatever you want to do. Um, and then we are going to do rubber duck races uh, down the creek. Um, and so uh, we will basically have, based upon how many people we have, maybe, hopefully we get a ton and we got to do like heats and stuff like that. But um, we're going to have races down uh, the creek, the front side of the creek, and then uh, we'll broadcast all that live. And for those that, uh, that win or do well, um, we'll receive a prize. So um, something fun, something, you know, really inexpensive and, and just some, some cute idea that we can kind of put together to kind of keep everyone uh, working on stuff. So, uh, but that'll be fun. It, it, I, it was an idea. I'm trying to think who deserves the credit on that. Um, There's many members of that I know have mentioned rubber duckies in the creek. But. I know, I can't remember, but um, uh, but we appreciate uh, those ideas, and, and uh, unfortunately, this one took a little bit longer to put together than, uh, uh, than we'd like, but, uh, but it works, and um, so uh, look for more information about that, um, and uh, we hope to have a little bit of fun with that. Uh, the other idea we're coming up with in June, um, probably later in June, as uh, once again, waiting on weather, is um doing a, a sidewalk chalk competition uh decorating competition um i know a lot of people have been doing them in the driveways and and all that kind of stuff uh, around the neighborhood um for what we want to do is um put them um once we uh, kind of progress into our different phases uh we'd like to do it where the back parking lot uh, of the club you could decorate a parking stall and uh, every other stall to make sure uh, we maintain social distancing and things like that. But um, but really kind of an opportunity to get your creative and artistic side um, out there. And, and uh, uh, that way, uh, once that's finished and we can have members parade and drive through um, the parking lot area to be able to see. Uh, and then we're going to have um, little boat voting slips that people will uh, be able to kind of participate in a vote. Um, so that way every we kind of put all the sidewalk chalk decorations in one area and then, um, uh, uh, and then they can be, uh, you know, kind of have fun with uh, members, other members to being able to drive through and, and view them. So, um, so oh, look wow. for more information on that. Oh yeah. And uh, uh, we hope to kind of put that together once again, waiting till the weather. I mean, it's going to be nice the next few days, but, uh, we'll wait till June, um, although June's always an iffy month, but uh, but we're going to wait till kind of the weather gets a little bit better. So kind of, once again, thinking of things and, and kind of coming up with some different ideas um, and, and kind of putting them putting them through the ringer to see if they're going to work and maintain the, um, the uh, governor's orders and things like that. So um, once again, just trying to find some fun stuff and, and appreciate any and all ideas everyone has out there. I'm excited for all of it. So I hope yeah, everybody sure, else cool. is too. Um, I mean, that's all we have today for Coffee Talk. I appreciate everyone tuning in. Um, Jason, do you have anything else you want to talk to you? But no, I don't really think so. I, you know, like I said, I just appreciate everyone logging in. We've we've had good participation on you know Coffee Talk. We've got you know the fitness classes have been well received. Bingo has been great. Um, Chef Dino's cooking classes have been good. So. Um, just keep telling telling your friends that uh, to log on and and uh, to watch it because uh, you know it is they are great and they are you know really nice opportunities. Uh, keep in mind that uh, MTL Daily Digest should be up and running here any day now, and so you'll actually see the first three posts. Brittany will have um, 
uh, you know, a fitness one, a cooking one, coffee talk one, and I think another one, but um, that'll always have all the links on there. So if you miss a day, you miss a week or whatever it may be, more than welcome to just click that link. It's got all the links on there. It'll, it'll reference you back to YouTube and uh, where we have all of our videos. We've got, I think, 35 videos on YouTube right now. So um, and more keep popping up. Doug's uh, do, just did a couple of videos. Christopher did a, a intro to billiards vi video. Doug did an intro to wine video. Um, we're we're, we're kind of coming up with some different stuff. So uh, please check it out. Please tell everyone else to check it out. Um, support those those opportunities as well. So, um, but but once again, we appreciate everyone's patience and and uh, um, we're, we're excited to to kind of keep the ball rolling at this point. So. Thank you all very much. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the sunshine. I did want to say, I know Leah Robbins is planning um, some happy hour in the hood tomorrow the 9th, and I believe it's extended to all neighborhoods. So 5 o'clock tomorrow, everybody's being asked to come out in your driveway, play some music, grab a drink, and have a happy hour at a nice social distancing. And I believe there will be dancing in the street, is what I've been told. I'm excited to see videos and pictures. So if you are planning to do that, please send me pictures. Um, I'd love to see it and have a great day and time and weekend. We'll see everybody next week. Bye. Bye.